beautiful hey beautiful people of the living god all praises to the most high so the father wants me to go through 12 precepts with you about the restoration from the 70 years captivity in babylon of the children of israel and the children of judah and he wants me to get into 12 precepts just 12 precepts and then um you guys can read your bible or fast and pray and ask the father if you have any more questions so I'm just going to get into it. Jeremiah 25 and 12. And it shall come to pass when 70 years are accomplished that I will punish the king of Babylon and that nation, says the Lord, for their iniquity and the land of the Chaldeans and will make it perpetual desolation. So God is saying after the 70 years, he's going to visit the king of Babylon. He's going to visit the nation of Babylon. He's going to visit the land of Babylon, and he's going to save his people, Israel and Judah. So let me keep reading this 12 precepts he wants me to read to you. Um, Jeremiah 29 and 10, For thus says the Lord, that after 70 years be accomplished at Babylon, his children being in captivity in Babylon, I will visit you. He's telling the children of Israel and Judah, I will visit you and perform my good word toward you and causing you to return to this place. He's saying he's going to restore you. He's going to visit you after these 70 years. Keep remembering these 70 years as it's a 70 year captivities are accomplished in Babylon. And God said he'll visit you after 70 years. This is why you're seeing the judgment. All right. So Zechariah 7 and 5. Speak unto all the people of the land and to the priest saying, when you fasted and mourned in the fifth and seventh month, even those 70 years, did you at all fast unto me, even to me? Because the fifth month and the seventh month are holy um, day, holy months of God that the children of Israel and Judah should have been fasting to God. So God's saying in their 70 year captivity in Babylon, did they fast at all to him, even if it was to him? Because also in the Bible, it tells you, you know, people, um, pour out their hearts to another and it wasn't God. They'd be calling on false gods. All right, so now Daniel 9 and 2. In the first year of his reign, I, Daniel, understood by books the number of the years whereof the word of the Lord came to Jeremiah the prophet, that he would accomplish 70 years in the desolation of Jerusalem. So the holy city was supposed to be destroyed 70 years. 70 years of the captivity of Babylon, 70 years for God to come visit you from that. Now, Jeremiah 27 and 22, now he's restoring you after these seven years. They shall be carried to Babylon, and there shall they be until the day that I visit them, says the Lord. Then will I bring them up and restore them to this place. Jeremiah 27 and 22, and there shall they be carried to Babylon, and there shall be into, oh, sorry, it's, why is it there twice? Forgive me. Joel 2 and 25, and I will restore to you the years that the locust has eaten, the canker worm and the caterpillar, and the palm worm, my great army which I sent among you. Now God's telling you he's going to restore his people. Isaiah 1 and 26, I will restore thy judges as at the first and thy counselors as at the beginning. Afterward, thou shalt be called the city of righteousness, the faithful city. Isaiah 57 and 18, I have seen his ways. I will heal him. I will lead him also and restore comforts unto him and to his mourners. Daniel 9 and 24, Seventy weeks are determined upon the people, the whole, upon thy holy people, upon the holy city, to finish the transgression, and to make an end of sins, and to make reconciliation for iniquity, and to bring in everlasting righteousness, and to seal up the vision and prophecy, and to anoint the most holy. Daniel 9 and 25, Know therefore and understand that from the going forth of the commandment to restore and to build Jerusalem unto the Messiah the Prince shall be seven weeks and three scores and two weeks. The streets shall be built again, and the wall, even in troublous times. So, didn't, and remember in my video, Restoration and Reconciliation, when God said he's going to be restoring and reconciling in his people all in the midst of judgment, 
Well, that, that basically tells you in Daniel 9 and 25. It says, the streets shall be built again and the wall, even in troublous times. So God is restoring, he's reconciling all in troublous times, all in the midst of judgment. And he's delivering these people from this 70 years captivity of Babylon. So when it says the time of Jacob's trouble in Jeremiah 30 and 7, Alas, for, for that day is great, so that none is like it. It is even the time of Jacob's trouble, but he shall be saved out of it. Yes, look, he shall be saved out of it. Your time, what does it say? The street shall be built again, and the wall, even in troublous times. But the children of Israel and the children of Judah are going to be okay. Because, listen, but they shall be saved out of it. Now, in Daniel 12 and 1, it tells us, And at that time shall Michael stand up, the great prince, the Michael the holy archangel, which stands up for the children of thy people, and there shall be a time of trouble, such as never was since there was a nation even to the same time. And at the time thy people shall be delivered, every one that shall be found written in the book. So, beautiful people of God, what, that, what I'm saying is to you is the 12 precepts God wanted you to know, I would just read out to you, and that don't fear because even though it's going to be the time of Jacob's trouble, you will be delivered out of it if your name is found written in the book. So have faith in God and put him first and repent daily. Listen, Proverbs 25 and 19, confidence in an unfaithful man in a time of trouble is like a broken tooth and a foot out of joint. Don't put your faith in the faith, the faithless and the governments in the time of your trouble. Put your faith in God. May God bless you all. Have mercy on you all.